What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. Today, we're going to learn 10 super useful expressions. This is the 10th edition. I really like videos on expressions and I hope you like them too. Are you ready to learn some new and super useful expressions? If so, grab a pen and your vocabulary notebook and let's get going. So let's get started. The first expression on my list today is enough is enough. It means that something must stop and won't be tolerated anymore. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, she said enough is enough and gave a piece of her mind. Here we've got an interesting mind idiom to give someone a piece of your mind, which means to tell someone why you are angry with them. And one more example, enough is enough, I must stop obsessing over productivity. And now let's move on to our second expression, get a move on. It's a synonym of hurry up or speed up. Let's look at two examples. The first one, come on, get a move on. And one more example here, you'd better get a move on if you don't want to be late. Let's get to number three, go easy on me. It means treat me in a gentle way and don't be too strict or harsh on me. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, I didn't sleep well last night and I'm thick today, so please go easy on me. And one more example, I know I put my foot in my mouth but please go easy on me. And in this example, we've got a C2 body idiom, which is to put your foot in your mouth. It means to say something by accident that embarrasses or upsets someone. And in the UK, they say to put your foot in it. By the way, Adele has a song, Easy on Me, and she sings, go easy on me. So maybe this song will help you remember this expression. And now let's move on to our expression number four. I will make it up to you. We use this expression when we want to promise that we will do something good for someone we have upset, disappointed, or caused problems. And maybe we haven't spent enough time with this person and we want to say that we will do something good for them. I will make it up to you. And let's look at two examples. The first one, sorry, I couldn't come to your TED talk, but I promise I will make it up to you. I love TED talks and I wouldn't miss one. And one more example, I know I haven't been a good friend lately, but I promise I will make it up to you. And now let's move on to our expression number five, which is it's no use and we can also add it's no use doing something. It means that the thing that someone tries can't be or wasn't successful. And now a few examples. The first one, you won't take her out of doing it. It's no use. If you want to learn a C2 phrasal verb to talk someone out of something, check out my shorts. You can find the card right here. And one more example, there is no use complaining. It won't make you feel better. And there is a synonym. We can also say there is no point in doing something. In is optional. For example, there is no point in arguing. Let's agree to disagree. And guys, before we continue and learn five more super useful expressions, just a super quick reminder. If you like today's lesson, Please don't forget to give it a like and to subscribe to English Bits if you like my channel. Thank you for all your love and support. And now let's continue with the lesson, our expression number six. I think it's super cool and useful. Knock yourself out. We use it to mean go ahead and do something. Feel free 
to do something. And basically, you give someone permission to do or have something. Knock yourself out. And now, a few examples. The first one, can I get a piece of your cake? Knock yourself out. You can have as much as you want. And the second example is based on the TV show I saw last week on Netflix. I enjoyed it so much and actually I've seen it twice. The only problem is the title. It's so long and very difficult to remember. And it's the girl in the house across the street from the girl in the window. So in one of the episodes, Anna wants to see what's inside Neil's bag. And he says, knock yourself out, which means go ahead and check it out. Number seven, let's roll with it. It means let's do it, let's get on with it and see what happens. So basically you're putting a plan in place and expecting to have to change tactics at some point if something is not working. The first example, the manager gave his team members some instructions and they rolled with it. And one more example, everything's ready. Let's roll with it. And now let's go on to the next expression, number eight, so help me. I think it's one of my favorites. It means I swear to do what I say I will do. You want to make a serious promise and you want to say that something will happen no matter what. And now two examples. The first one, so help me, I will pass the exam. And one more example, so help me, I won't give up until I achieve it. Two more to go, number nine, stay put, stay still, or stay there. It means don't go anywhere, don't move, and stay where you are. And it can also imply not travel, move, or change your job. The first example, they decided to stay put and not travel abroad. The second example, stay still, I'll be right back. And one more example, stay there and don't move. And last but not least, number 10, a very easy expression to remember, yes and no. It means that there is both a positive and negative answer to a question. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, did you have a good time? Yes and no. The place was stunning, but it rained every day. And the last example for today, do you like Valencia in summer? Yes and no. You can go to the beach, but it's scorching. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this lesson. I really hope there was a new expression that you've learned today. Please let me know which expression is your favorite. And guys, if you enjoyed this lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel, and remember that you can catch me on Instagram where I teach English every day. Thank you for everything and see you next Wednesday and next Sunday. Have a nice day. Ciao for now!